I started my lecture with explaining what the prevalence, one-year prevalence of medication overuse or chronic daily headache was in the population. Uh, and, and I showed that on average worldwide, I mean, and there is um, approximately 2.2% of the population who suffers from medication overuse uh, and chronic migraine or medication overuse headache. Um, so medication overuse headache is a distinct headache condition. It's a secondary headache disorder, uh, while the chronic migraine is a primary headache disorder. So medication and uh, overuse headache usually develops um, after the overuse of headache abortive medications, which could be triptans, you know, simple analgesics, uh, or unfortunately, in some cases, opioids. And um, the medication we use just indicates that the patient overuses medications on 10 or more days per month and takes um, any of those medications. While medication always headache is a condition, is is a diagnosis of headache occurring on fifteen or more days per month, um, and uh, for at least three months, uh, with a sign of worsening of the headache uh, while the patient has been overusing the medication. <clears throat> so, if you um, look at the headache centers, which are more specific uh, centers for uh, management of the headaches. There, we see a lot of patients coming with medication overuse or medication overuse headaches. For example, there are studies showing that uh, approximately 50% of patients coming to the U.S. Uh, headache centers or tertiary headache centers report medication overuse or have medication overuse headache. In Argentina, for example, it's up to 70% of patients uh, in specialized um, Headache clinics report medication overuse or medication overuse headache. Now, if you look at the types of medications overused in a population, so we have a study from 2006 by Marcelo Begal and colleagues. Um, these are the data from, uh, uh, I think it's from AMPP, showing that, that uh, the most commonly used overused drug in a general population is actually acetaminophen or paracetamol, followed by um, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, we call them NSAIDs, and then combination of analgesics. Unfortunately, 11% in the study, uh, which was published in Cephalology in 2008, showed to take the opioids for the management of the acute headaches. The overuse of triptans uh, was in approximately 18.7% of the population. Now, if you look at the clinics, so the more specialized centers, there we see patients who overuse, unfortunately, combination analgesics. And the most common one in the United States is the butabitol or uh, the brand name Furacin. And, and, and that's a big problem because in that study, particular study from 2004, which was also performed by uh, Dr. Bigal, it showed that 45% of uh, patients, uh, like in in the 90s, were overusing uh, butabitol, and after 95, they were they were 48.1%. So not so much big change, still big. And I, I, I there's it's still a big problem. There's still a lot of patients overusing this combination of physics. The next group was uh, acetaminophen, uh, followed by opioids. Uh, which is very problematic in the United States. Um, I, I recently showed in one of my studies, uh, which I've been involved with, uh, it's part of the Overcome study, where up to 20% of patients uh, were reporting using opioids for acute treatment in the past year, uh, which is quite alarming, uh, given that there are uh, more migraine-specific and um, effective treatments for migraines. <clears throat> 